Hey guys, it's Greg here. Welcome to something a little bit different. And on behalf of Xbox Play South Africa, I want to welcome you to the dual review of the PDP Level 50 wired headset and the PDP Level 50 wireless headset. As always, thanks to the guys at Apex Interactive for giving us these two great products to give away and to review. So please don't forget to look for details in the group, probably posted below at the end of the video for details on how you can enter the competition and possibly win either of these models. As always with our products, we give them a score out of 100, broken down into five categories. With headsets, we have the design, the comfort, the functionality, the microphone, and the sound. Each category gets a score out of 20, and we add them all up, give it a score out of 100, and it's a pretty decent measure of how the product performs overall, as we give it a, a broad analysis over the five different categories where we feel that the headset is is most important, where we want our, our functionality to come from, where we want it to perform the most. First up, we have the design of the product. From the moment we unbox it, how does it look? Does the packaging look nice? Does the, the product actually strike you as something with amazing design quality from the moment we take it out the box? And since this is an entry-level product, I wasn't really expecting anything too special. For both models, they both operate on the cheaper end of their, their categories. Um, so from the moment you take this product out the box, from its pressed cardboard packaging and the, the plastic that it comes wrapped in, you know you're not going to really um, expect too much. And that starts translating when we start getting into the materials of the product itself. The materials of the product are obviously where the, the design company can take some, you know, cut some costs. They can use a bit of cheaper material as we see the the product itself is almost entirely a hard plastic material here the materials are a little bit cheap which you would expect from a entry-level product but i feel like maybe these materials they could have done something a little bit more with to make it a little bit more durable you'll see on the the ear cups they've used a very lightweight nylon material which while it feels nice and lightweight and adds to the overall lightweight of the product, the plastic itself is quite light and the ear cups themselves, they don't use a very fancy leatherette which will add to the weight of the product. It's a, it's a lightweight nylon but again it feels a bit cheap so it feels like they could have used something a bit more heavyweight like we, we see maybe in the Turtle Beach entry level models which while they, they feel a bit more hardy I feel like they will last a bit longer while these these ones feel a little bit softer but since you're going to be compressing them regularly by putting them onto your ears and then putting them down onto the table I feel like it might be a bit cheap lending itself to the overall theme of the, the build quality being a, a little bit on the cheap end onto the design of the microphone you'll see it's a nice long microphone that will stretch right in front of your mouth not one of those fixed short ones that will sit far away from your mouth making you feel like you are maybe having to strain to get your voice through into your body chat. It has a nice bendable wire that is bendy but also quite sturdy as well so it will stay exactly where you leave it as well as having a nice little pop filter on the end there which does wonders in filtering out maybe external noise. So it's a nice little design feature that's a physical thing they've added onto the microphone to make it a little bit more functional. While some of the products that you see these days don't necessarily come with a, a pop filter on it, it's nice to note that this does have it on. And it's also a flip to turn on and flip to mute microphone, which is quite nice as well. I like having that simple functionality of not having to worry about a button or something like that. On the wireless model, there are the few extra buttons of having the controls that you will expect from the wireless functionality. So you'll have the, the charging cable there, the charging port there rather, We'll have the power button there, the, the equalizer button here which switches between a, a bass heavy setting and a treble heavy setting. So it's kind of two polar opposites. You can have it balanced obviously without it on, but then if you want a little bit extra power to one or the other, you can switch on the equalizer here. This will use a bit more battery, but it's quite nice having that feature if you want a bit more in your movies or a bit more in your games, you can use one or the other depending on the, the situation. There is also the slider here, which slides between your game sound and your party chat, which is a very nice addition. This is only on the wireless version. As you'll see, the design of the wired headset is almost identical 
it is identical, it's the same headset, it just doesn't have the, the functionality, so it doesn't have the buttons, it doesn't have any need for extra buttons on the headset. The design of the product is still quite nice. The one thing I feel is lacking from the design of this headset is a swiveling ear cup here. I didn't notice a problem, but I heard from some people, from other reviewers, that not having the swivel feature here does introduce pressure points on your ears. I will address that in the comfort later on, but it is obviously a design feature that lends itself to the comfort. So, to sum it all up, it's a nice design. The products are slightly cheaply designed with the, the materials that they used, so it's, it does feel like it, it belongs in the entry-level market. So, 15 out of 20 for the wired headset, and 16 out of 20 for the wireless headset. Obviously, they're the same model, so you might be asking me why the one gets a different score, simply because the one doesn't have a wire, it has a few extra buttons on it which adds to the functionality. So the one does deserve maybe a little bit extra, because it does have a few extra design features which lend itself to the functionality of the product.